What's up, y'all? Um, so you asked me to do an aiming tip video. Um, I'm gonna just go through terrorist hunt with a couple operators. Um, I'm gonna try angle grip for some and uh, um, just show you like some things that I do that work for me when it comes to terrorist hunt. Okay, or oh, not terrorist hunt before the game. Yeah, I even practice these things in the game. I'm trying to get better at these things in the game. Okay, so the first thing that I do is. Whenever I'm playing the game, right, I want to scan the whole room. But when I come up the steps here, I can clearly see that nobody's here. Because if they were, they would have shot and killed me. So what I do is I come here. The next thing I do is I scan this area here, right? So in essence, though, hold on, let me let this suicide bomber just come on over here. And then I can show you another tip. So I come through the hallway here. When I do this, I'm scanning. Even though it looks like I'm here, I'm scanning this area, all of this, making sure nobody's coming through the door. If uh, I think somebody could be in the room, I'll pre-fire like that, just to uh, to um, just to see um, if if somebody's there. Now, the biggest thing. Uh, but you want to get accustomed to is your aim, aiming in, aiming in down sight. So, uh, as you saw right there with that kill, um, what I did was, as I aimed in on him, when I located him, I stepped back. Because stepping back, my crosshair was here, right? And his head was here. Because I stepped back, my crosshair ended up where his head was. So, a lot of, a lot of your kills are, um, or why you miss or anything like that come from your placement of your crosshairs now it had I had it like perfectly on there probably wouldn't have had to step back see there even there you know you just step back a slight step back come into the room and it also makes you harder to hit as well so so you just step back that's all you do when you shoot it. because what it does is it gets people to think that you are one place and when you step back your hitbox changes stepping back that's all I'm doing when I'm shooting people um, as far as like reflex kills are concerned it has to deal with your your ability to react your ADS time and uh, but for people who run low sim so you just step back step back Uh, if you run low sense, it's definitely more important that you do a lot of movement. That you're constantly moving. Step back. That you're constantly, you know, in and out of things. Like almost in a, sometimes even in a circular motion. And what's even more important than than when you run up on somebody and you uh like that. You want to make sure that you locate your enemy first. See, like right here, I know. That there's a guy here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up on here locate shoot that simple um, another good step back step back shoot another good thing that you can do when it comes to things like this is uh use your drone um, don't really want to use this drone in terrorist hunt but oh well we're gonna do it so here we are Drone placement is important. Okay, we see this guy sitting here. He doesn't know. Wait a minute, I'm being shot. He doesn't know that I that I technically know where he is. However, I can see him, and then I can see his buddy right here on the side. I have one on the left and one on the right. This is a choice that she has to make. When usually when you're pushing with the team, um, I do this for solo all the time. I'll drone ahead for him because droning for yourself. Sometimes can get you killed. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, if they stay right where they are, then this is gonna work. All right? I come up, kill, kill the one on the left, and kill the one on the right, and it'd be easy, right? But sometimes it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes there's a cam that, that knows where you are, which is this one right here in the basement that's usually there. And if it's not out or you just took it out, the people know where you're coming from. So and even with them sitting like this always person that you're getting ready to shoot to move 
So even when you're droning for yourself. And I'll give you an example of that right here. I'm going to come up these steps. Look to him. See? He moved. He moved. Now before, they were both stationary. But the moment that I hit the steps, they both moved to different different locations. Same same general place that they moved. So that is uh, something that is important too. But another thing you can do is you can always get somebody to drone ahead for you. Like that's beneficial for you, I, I think. And it'll actually help you become a better... Uh, a better um how do you say it? shooter so i saw him in the corner there right he doesn't know that i'm here but still what did he do he moved he didn't stay where he was he was over here right i stood in the hallway he can't see me usually it's a cam right here so unless he's on that cam which standing right here would be stupid for him to be on that cam because what i could end up happening is i could come from any direction I could come here or oh no. or I can come from this side and get him so it would be stupid for him to just be posted like that but however people do things like that but the first thing you saw him do even me talking to you was he moved so never expect people to be where they are when you uh when you pre drone them yourself and then so it's best to have an active drone on somebody now this is the reason why I use the flashbang there is because this is a vulnerable ladder and there's somebody here or even somebody here right I throw it back far enough usually I would throw two two in this case I would throw one back here far enough and then I would throw one in this general vicinity just to make sure so the only way that I would die is if somebody sitting here trying to shoot me okay if I came up this ladder um, this goes for any map though, rather you going upstairs or anything in, in different. You want to make sure that you cover all your angles and that you are, see, step back when you shoot though. Step back when you shoot. Um, and you, if you can see, I'm not even like aimed in all the way on these kills. And another thing is, um, when you shoot. Sorry, my uh, controller disconnected. But um, those are just some general tips that can help you with uh, your aim. Um, I'm gonna do one with angle angle grip as well, just to uh, kind of um, go over some things of why I don't use personally use angle grip, but why some people enjoy it, they might like it. So I'm gonna do one with angle grip for you guys as well. But the same same tools and same principles. Um, apply so I just want you to uh, understand um, I'm gonna I'm teach you why you don't need angle grip honestly but for those people who like it I'm gonna show you why they like it and this is usually how their aim looks awesome. when they use it so let's open the door oh, okay That's right here. Alright, so usually people who run angle grip just like to run in and do things like that. Run in and do things like that, right? Because they don't want to take the time to actually scan. So they run in and do things like that. Now, me, because my instincts got myself to a place to expect people, it's a little different for me when I run angle grip. But for most people, they just like running through the hallway. Like this, they ain't got to check something. And see, even there, if you saw, my aim went all over the place, even with that, just doing that. Stop doing that. Take your time, walk through your hallways, and shoot shoot people. Like, it, they're not going to go anywhere. And what you got to do is, even though, know, like, in some instances, you don't necessarily want to take the gunfight, the only way you're going to get better is if you take the gunfight. And you saw right there, like, I missed. You know, I don't care. That I missed. Something I need to work on. I stood still. Instead of moving, I stood still. So it allowed dude just to continuously spray on me. So, um, let me do it again though. 
um, for you guys with the angle grip, just to give you a little, a uh, little better reference. But um, you you don't always need angle grip. Some some guns may require it. Like Blackbeard, people are used to a certain ADS time with Blackbeard, and when they nerfed him, they took his aim down, sights time down. So the, the angle grip on Blackbeard gives him back his ADS. But even still, you don't need that if you're lining up a kill. You just need to be patient and take the shot. Patience is always aggression and patience in this game go hand to hand. You push in aggressively, but patient when you shoot. Like, see, look, when I'm when I'm doing this, my red. I'm not doing this. I'm not moving my thing. I'm making sure that this stays still at all times. So even when I'm pushing, wow, two people fall just like that. Um. So let's see. Let's go here. Anyway, and it throws off your recoil pattern too, as well. That's another thing I don't like. This gun has like almost zero recoil, but with the angle grip, it gives it a tad bit of recoil. But I'm just showing you why people like running angle grip because they like. So just run through the site like this. It doesn't, um, they don't like to wait. So, uh, this is relatively, it's not hard, it's relatively easy. Another thing is, there's a terrorist right here, but I think, like, right here in the middle, right here, right? Or he went back into that room. And then there's one underneath me. Take care, always take care of the person that's the closest to you first. Because they are the ones that have the advantage in the gunfight, when, especially when two people are pushing you. Some people prefer the long-range gunfight. Take the guy who's up close um, first. You kill him, then work your way to the next one. Where'd that good go? Okay. So, all right. So I could just shoot him right if I wanted to, but practice just to show you why this is important. I hate this hit registration in this game. Three enemies remaining. So you just pretty much just run through the site. That's all people do with angle grip. But you still should take your time, is what I'm saying. But I just wanted to show you why why you could run angle grip if you have that problem. But um this is me. Um I'm signing out. I hope some of these tips help you. Remember to step back when you shoot. Uh always stay moving if you have low sensitivities or even high sensitivities. If you stand still at any moment, you could die. And I you know there's proof of that in this video. So I hope this helps. Hope you guys, uh, you know, get better, whatever. And, uh, you know, just enjoy yourself. All right, I'm out.